this iconic surf village we build the balance 526, the 580 and the 620. The Nexus Yard is situated in St. Francis Bay. St. Francis is situated on the east coast of South Africa. I'm going to take you through the build process of the Balance 526. I'll be introducing you to the guys at Builder and show you where we start and where we finish with the Balance 526. Because what you are doing, it's like an art. She's working hard. First phase is construction where the guys do all the molding. Um, they'll start with the holes, um, the aft deck, fore deck, um, basically all the main components of the boat. After that we're going to um, putting the boat together, which is second phase construction. External construction where the guys are going to be fitting all the furniture in the cockpits, um, all the cutouts for the windows, that's what we call external construction. Wow, this is an interesting boat. It's really ticking all the boxes. The fit and finish were, were better than any boat I had ever been on in my 25 years of sailing. People ask me, like, well, why are you building these catamarans in South Africa? And what's the origin of the company? And I mean, my history in South Africa goes all the way back to 1979 when I was a, a young guy in college. Um, we had the Hobie Cat World Championships here in Plettenberg Bay, and at the time, Hobie Cats were the world's most popular racing sailboat. And very interestingly, the gentleman who manages all the production here of balanced catamarans in uh, St. Francis for the 526 and 620 is a gentleman named Jonathan Parmon. And Jonathan Parmon's uncle built those Hobie Cats and Johnny was intimately involved in building those Hobie Cats. And that just shows you how long we've been involved in sort of the, the catamaran sailing, building, crafting industry. Jonathan runs the floor. Um, he will get the first, he'll get the brief of the boat. Once he's gone over the brief of the boat, he will then go through all his team leaders and brief them exactly what they've got to do. So Jonathan and I work very closely on that, making sure that what the client has ordered from Phil, that we are actually building for them. I do have a lot of Skype chats with the clients along the way because, as you know, various equipment changes or they want to upgrade something. Um, but we try and set the whole boat out in the first month of signing the contract. Basically once the boat is launched and in its slip and, and, and waiting, all the guys have come down and do their checks, as which, which is what we call first phase sea trialing. Once we're happy that all of that is up and running, then we'll take the boat out the harbour and do the setting up of all the electronics or navigation equipment and do proper sea trialing and give the boat a good shakedown. That's, that's the idea behind a two-week um, sea trial period. Once we're all happy that everybody understands the boat, we'll then hand over the boat and um, the boat then sails off to Cape Town and wherever the, the owner wants to take it. I'm just like, oh my god, this is the most amazing thing I've ever done, and it's my boat! 